Johnny Bottle was in the books, and so far we had reached the dreaded episode three. And because it's episode three, we're going to be taking a look at the third episode. Why you should keep, you know, let me repeat that. We're going to recap the third episode, but we're also going to, I'm also going to give my thoughts on why you should keep watching this anime. This is Juju Gamer here, and I'm reviewing episode three. So this episode kind of showed a change of pace, and, you know, instead of going from Aligaki uh, and her development, we switched over to the other main character, and that was Ayano Hanasaki. This episode, especially from the opening scene, set the tone early on that this was going to be more about her upbringing, what made her love Batman in the first place, and what eventually drove her away from the sport. So as we see in the opening you know, scenes of this episode, we're seeing flashbacks of her and her mother playing Batman while she was growing up. That's how she eventually you know, started to love Batman because of her mother. And I have said this in at least episode one that her mom would have an effect on her not playing Batman. And I was right. This episode, I was right. I was proven right by my prediction. But I'll get more into that. Um, I also want to say that I love how this episode um, showed the friendship between Elena and Ayano. It showed that those two really stick together throughout everything. That Elena really has her back. And she's like the best friend that Ayano, Ayano really needs in her life. And you know... You know, before, you know, the opening, before the music comes on, we are seeing, um, we are seeing, you know, that scene from the first episode where she's dragging her to the badminton club to play. And, you know, before she starts, she's like, oh, I believe you really should be playing Batman. We have heard her say this before, but we didn't know why she was saying it until this episode. So as we get further into this episode, once again, the animation is on point, especially uh, when they... Especially when they start playing the Batman. Especially when they start playing. I really look forward to when they start the enter high prelims. And it's just non-stop action. The animation, like the different cut. I mean the different camera angles that they're using. Uh, to extenuate the action that's going on. Is simply amazing. So... At the start of this episode, we're back in the gym. We see Nagasa acting different. You know, the manager remarks that... After the coach helped her, she's acting different. She's more friendly. She's more open with the teammates. She's still pushing them hard, but she's, but she, you know, she calmed down a little bit. And you know, Ayano, on the on the other hand, she's out of it. She's kind of been out of it, but you know, but they started to do a practice drill, and she did sixty consecutive hits without really thinking. And until one of her teammates remarked, they said, oh, she's just on another level. She kind of like clams up and just stops. Was unsure of what the anime was going to do regarding the character arc for her. But I'm glad this episode hit on that note. So while they're still practicing, Elena decides to get dinner. You know, after going to see a movie with another friend of theirs, a mutual friend. Um, and while she's eating dinner... At the cafe, she meets Nagasa, who's out running. And those two are walking back, talking back and forth. And Nagasa just point blank asks her, why did she stop playing Batman? And you know how, and she said, like, during the Junior National, she was just absolutely perfect. She's play, She was playing on a different level than what she's at now. And, you know, next day at practice, this pink-haired girl walks in and demands a practice match with Ayano. Now, if you have watched anime for as long as I have, you know to stay away. I'm repeat that: stay away from pink-haired anime girls. Example: you know, for Mirai Nikki. Example two: it's this new season called Happy Sugar Life that has a pink-haired Yandere main character. And after the first episode, I had to read the manga, and boy, that is one insane girl. But we're moving on from that. So, the girl who showed up, her name is Karuko, who is a first year 
at a powerhouse Batman school, and she is so good. She came in there as a freshman and took the A spot. And what that means is she basically took over as the best player on the team. She just came in there and dominated everybody. So, you know, she demands a practice match. She says she would not leave the premises of the facility of the gym that they're using until she gets her match. So as the match starts, it appears that not only that these two has history with each other, as the two seem to recognize each other instantly, but that, you know, despite her looks, Kairuko is very good. That wasn't a bold claim that she just came up in there and dominated. She's really good as she takes an early lead. And, you know, the rest of the team is kind of stunned by this because Ayano has been beasting them for a minute. So, at the end of the match, Karuka said that she is disappointed in her whole rival and how she won so easily. She completely dominated. She won 21-8. to eight. You know, while the coach was giving her pointers, like, you know, don't let her dictate the flow. Dictate the flow of the match. Ayano kind of, you know, just stormed off the gym, you know, prompting Elena to run after her. So then while she catches up to her, Ayano kind of stops and she's like, you know, I, I want to quit the team. I'm done with this. And that let me, and that let the audience know that something is truly bothering her that's just not bad men related. Something's been bothering her for a while. So the next day, she says, you know, she has. It shows Elena in school, and you know she has a good view of her desk. She's high in class, but there's a um a resignation form in her. Uh, I don't know what it's called. Like like it's like the desk um folder. It's like the desk pocket. It's a it's a club resignation form. But but she hasn't been to school, so she can't turn it in. So, with this in mind, as, you know, she's continuing to miss days and practices, with this in mind, Ayano, no, with this in mind, Nagisa and the coach decided to visit her home, you know, to try and get some sense of, you know, can they help? And they found out that she's staying with her grandparents in a very old school, uh, traditional Japanese house, only to be told that by her grandparents that she hasn't been home. So, they don't know where she's at. It is revealed that um, while the two are talking with their grandparents, it revealed that her trouble, like I predicted, started with her mother. Her mother is a badminton beast, a badminton legend. Her mother has won 10 straight national titles in Japan in a row. That is almost like Serena Williams' domination. Like... Bruh, 10 straight, we just dominated a whole sport like that? Well, the grandparents are talking to the coach and Nagisa about, you know, Ayano's past. Elena finds her and basically asks her, how does she know that girl? And Ayano basically replies that the two met in middle school and that, you know, they were rivals back then. And, you know, she was getting ready to face her in the tournament. But Kaoruko, you know, kind of underhandedly, she had a cold. She underhandedly, because she wanted to play on even terms, she gave her a code. She gave her a code, which prompted Ayano to kind of, kind of almost like fall out um, on the court. And it is revealed that, you know, because she lost like that, it, it, it gives the audience a feeling that it probably put a bad taste in her mother's mouth. And, you know, coming right off that flashback, it switches back over to the grandparents. And it says that she, that her mother has not been seen by her since. So, Ayano's mom leaving has hurt her. It has hurt her. It turned her cold, but it also drove her to start utterly dominating her opponents. Because she believed that if she kept winning, her mom would come back. So, she was just dominating everybody left and right. And that's where the title is up, so she was perfect. So she was just dominating everybody. So only to find out that, you know, when she looked in the magazine, her mother basically took on a protege and just completely left. So when she saw that in the magazine, her spirit kind of just broke to the point where she associated, you know, the love of her mother with Batman. And because her mother left her, she's so hurt she can't enjoy the sport anymore. So 
With this in mind, Atlanta goes to Nagasa because the two of them are the same. The two of them love Batman to crazy amount of degree. And so the next day, Ayana was not in school. They're back at the park. And Nagasa basically, you know, comes up there with Atlanta and she's like, you can quit the team if you want to. But before you go, have one last practice match with me. Have one last match with me. We don't have to leave to go to the gym. We can play right here in the park. And so while those two are playing, you know, Ayano's getting a smile back on her face. You know, we're we're seeing Elena's private thoughts on how she was envious of Ayano because she wasn't able to find something that she enjoyed as much as she loved Batman. Because in this episode, it is revealed that I, Ayano and Elena were always together. Those two were always together. So, while those two are having fun, the rest of the team ends up coming to that park and they're all just playing badminton. And that's how the episode ends with Elena finally, you know, being accepted by the team, finally coming to terms that, you know, even though her mother left, she still has people that care for her. So, this episode to me was very knowledgeable in the fact that we are shown the real reason why Yano stopped playing fairly on. Um... And it's basically because of the mom leaving her, which is really sad. And you know how anime works. We're probably going to see her mother again at some point in this anime. Don't know when. It might be during the inter-high prelims, but that anim- that episode is going to be big. Now, with the recap done as to why you should keep watching this anime, it's quite simple. While we're still we're still learning the background of all these characters. We're still learning the background of this world. We haven't even gone into the matches, the practice matches. Well, not the practice matches. We haven't gone to into the official matches. The season has not started. We haven't even gone to the, in, the inter-high tournament. So there is still a bunch of stuff for this anime to cover. And with the way the animation is going right now, when it comes to, you know, the action scenes, and when I mean action scenes, I mean like the competition the actual Batman sport. When it comes to that aspect, oh, the, the animation really shines. So, there's still a lot to look forward to in this anime. There's a lot of questions in terms of character background. Like, like, like what if somebody knows the coach? They're, like, why did, what is the reason from Ayano's mom mouth herself, why did she leave her daughter without any warning? And so like I alluded to, there's a lot in this anime that, you know, we still haven't seen just yet. We're still only in the third episode. I hope this gets 24 episodes and or at least the season two is where the animation staff and, you know, director can focus fully on the matches. And so that can just be exploited. We can just have beautiful visuals left and right continuously throughout each episode. So, like, like I said, this is still only the very beginning of the anime. And because as an audience, we have not seen everything. And because it's weekly, we still have questions that need to be answered. And especially, um, especially without, with some of these other characters, if they have, you know, their own, you know, character arcs before the matches start. But I do believe this anime will be the sports anime of the summer. And subsequent halfway through fall. I, I do believe that, especially because 24 episodes. It's gonna it's gonna last for a good minute. Uh but that's it for today. I hope you all enjoyed this video. This Judy Gamer, I'm signing out. I hope you all enjoyed this episode like I did. But have a great day everybody. Goodbye.